Hey, everybody. I know you can't see me, but you can probably hear me just fine. <laughs> I'll check on the Discord to see if you guys can hear me. I'm going to be in there in just a minute for mailbag. I'm still just getting a couple things together at the last minute here. Sorry, I got distracted by Discord. So uh, just give me one sec. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's check the camera angles real quick. Well, I'm blocked by a kitten, but I guess that seems... Uh, all right. That's a good enough angle anyway. All right, uh, let's see. Well, today's mailbag, uh, I'm a space cadet this morning, but uh, that's all right. We're going to do about an hour of it. We'll see if that gets us through this giant pile or not. And if not, um, we presumably will dump the rest, uh, put, dump the rest? No, push the rest until tomorrow. Um, but uh, let, me, let me reserve uh, final judgment on that. Let's, let's see how we do here first. Uh, tomorrow may not be the best day to pick up on this, so we may have to get bumped to next weekend, but we'll see about that. So uh, as far as news goes, um, we brought Teaspoon and the, uh, the um, April Meowers class to the vet this week uh, for their regular checkup and vaccines. Um, and uh, Teaspoon, because the, earlier this week he spent a day kind of leaning to one side, I think he had a real temporary ear infection, but whatever it was was gone by the time we got to the vet. Uh, he seems like he's doing fine. We're keeping an eye on it anyway. And uh, the rest of them just had their vaccines. They all seem like they're in perfect health as far as we can tell. So that's uh, that's the good news. Um, otherwise, there's nothing much going on this week. So I guess we can just get right into it. Let's see here. If I forgot anything, I'm sure it will come to me in due time. So let's see. Uh, all right. All right. I need a letter opener for this. There we go. I think this is from Cindy in France, who I don't think we've gotten a card from in a while. Not that, that, I mean, that's fine. I understand. I'm just saying this is a pleasant surprise. So it's got really cute kitties on the front. Of course it does. Uh, really great photography of some beautiful cats. Uh, let's see. And then inside... Here, I'll show you that if I can. Hopefully that shows up. It says, oh, oh no. Well, Black passed away. Um, I'll just, I'll sort of skim over it, but uh, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, I know when you've written to us, um, you know, it's always been uh, with Black. So, uh, well, I'm sorry to hear about that. Uh, you do still have Hatchie and Grisette, as you say. YouTube had a difficult time, Kitten Academy. Well, I know. Um, it's already hot here. Aw. All right. Well, I hope you have better news. You say, I hope that in my next mail, I will have better news to announce to you. Goodbye. Big kiss from France. Cindy, Hatchie, Crisette, Angel Black, Daniel, and Bruno. Well, it's great to hear from you. Um, even though I'm sorry that it's some sad news. Uh, you're right that we, we've all been through a lot lately, but that's not to take anything away from, from what you're going through. I know that can be really difficult. So um, I, I hope you've got plenty of people there to, to look after you. I know from your pictures that you probably do. So it's good. Um, you know, I always see your family there. Okay, uh, let's see. This is from the Kahooligans. Interesting. It says specifically the Vermont Kahooligans. 
So let's see what that means. Uh, it's got a kitty laying on his back. It says, work hard, nap hard. Very cute. It says, wishing you some much-deserved downtime and video games. Happy Father's Day. Mr. A, many spoogles to an amazing cat dad. Mayhem and Bamboozle said you are the bestest cat dad ever. Looking forward to seeing everyone at KA Con. Keep it up and Adam. KA Bless 17, May Bamboo and Daisy. Thank you so much. Uh, that's a cute little card. And I also am looking forward to seeing everybody at KA Con. I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. That's one of the reasons why tomorrow may not be a good continuation for Mailbag. Uh, not like it's a big secret or anything, but um, last year we did a Q&A session for KA Con that we filmed in advance. And it looks like we're doing that again this year, uh, and we'll be trying, I think, to film it tomorrow morning. So uh, that, that would be the conflict there. Um, we'll see, though. I, I, we haven't exactly scheduled it yet, and it's going to depend on how much I feel like I can get done. You know, you know how it is. So um, let's open some packages now. Yeah, KACON is going to be really, really fun. It's always fun. It's always a good time. And, you know, it's not a big thing, um, but the, the planning committee does an amazing job of putting it together, and I just, I don't have to worry about it at all, and uh, and they just, they put they put together some fantastic stuff. It's, it's they just volunteer to do all of this, and it ends up being so much nicer than anything we could, you know, do if we, if we had to pay somebody instead of having these wonderful volunteers. It's better than that. So uh, they're just just amazing um, everything that they managed to get put together for us. Uh, I say for us, it's you know I really do mean us. It's not for me in any sense. Um, in fact, they don't even assume that I'm going to go any given year. They're always like, "Can you can you make it this year?" I'm like, "Well, of course I'm going to make it." I mean, yeah, I have to be there, don't I? Uh, even though. Um, my point was that it's not it's not about us though, and I like that uh, about it. That's one thing I really like, is that it's for everybody to uh, you know enjoy that time with each other. Okay. Well, let's see. We got a paper here. I'm trying not to show this off because your address is on the envelope too. Um, but this is from April in Asheville, I believe. Ooh, you sent a Ritter Sport with marzipan. Oh man, those are good. Those are, those are really good. I had never heard of these. This is another thing. The Ritter Sport is another thing I'd never heard of until uh, we started doing the Kitten Academy, of course, and then somebody sent us a whole bunch of them, uh, just like Stroop Waffles. So these are both things that I learned about from the stream to uh, the d great dismay of my waistline. <laughs> Uh, the Mountain Express. Wow. Locals hired goats for landscaping. How fun would that be? Hmm. All right. Well, I'm excited to read these, but uh, the note. Okay, there it is. Oh, and a donation. Wow. Okay, I assume that's a donation. I'll put it right here on top so I can pull it back out if it's not for me. The note is safe to read. Okay, good. Good morning, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and everyone in the KA community. Happy Catterday to all. Mr. A, you've been working so hard taking care of all the students that I felt you needed a small care package. Enclosed is some reading material for you and a quick snack since I'm not sure you have time to eat full meals. I've also included a small donation to help with Teaspoon's upcoming surgery. We are all thinking about the Golden Boy and sending him nothing but positive vibes. I'm also hoping he makes a surprise appearance at KACON this year. However, I know that's highly unlikely. Hey, a girl can dream, right? Thank you for everything you do for kittens and mom cats and for keeping all of us entertained with your live stream. We appreciate the community you are providing as well as the break from a sometimes harsh reality. Please boop the nearest kitten and as always... Uh, pet kittens and ramble on April in Asheville and my boys Joey and G, aka Ginger Tuffy Cat. Thank you so much. Um, uh, you reminded me about Teaspoon's uh, surgery, which we have yet to schedule. Uh, I have to call on, probably I'll call on Monday and schedule uh, his other surgery. Uh, I mentioned that um, our vet talked to the cardiologist and they had decided that they could do his neuter which was good news. Um, you know, they, with, after consulting with the cardiologist, they're like, yeah, we're fine. This neuter is not a big deal. We can deal with that, and uh, we'll be glad to do it here. So that was very nice. It was specifically Dr. Prussia, the, the newer doctor at Aristocats, um, who was, you know, she was cool to do it. 
But then I mentioned that we brought him in with the kittens uh, for a quick check this week, and it turns out that he's what they call uh, crypt orchid. It's not the first time that we've had that happen. It basically means uh, that the little boy's parts um, haven't arrived in the proper place uh, to be removed. So um, when this has happened in the past, it hasn't been a very serious uh, case. And they do the neuter and they find the missing testicle right there, you know, right in, the, in this basic area. And they can just sort of, you know, pull it out and uh, take care of it. And the reason that they, they have to find it and take care of it, though, because otherwise later on in life it can turn cancerous if they don't, you know, find it and get it out. So it's important to have that done. Um, however, she really spent some time sort of feeling around for teaspoons bits, and uh, she felt like they might be really hard to find. Like, uh, it, they may not be as simple as the ones that we've had in the past, um, and they may have to hunt, like, all the way up to, uh, they start out sort of near his kidneys. Uh, they're way far up in there. And they have to make this long journey down. And uh, interestingly, she was explaining to me about how the, the sort of tube that they travel through um, ends up being too small for them to pass back and forth um, when they get just a little bit older. So that's, you know, why they stay out, presumably. Um, but then that can also result in them getting stuck in, uh, which is why I guess it happens so often. So like I said, it's not an unusual thing, but the practical upshot of all that, uh, and we've had it, like I said, plenty of kittens that's happened to for us before, but it does complicate his surgery. And now Dr. Prush is like, I don't feel like we should do this here after all. So we're going to have to schedule his surgery um, at uh, probably one of the VCA offices where the cardiologist works out of. So we'll probably even sort of schedule it through him or uh, maybe where he might be around when it's happening. But uh, one of these hospitals that has an intensivist and all this gear and stuff, you know, like a ready for emergency care, that way if there is any complication, they've got everything right there to, to deal with it. Not that there would be. It's probably going to be way simpler than any of that. But it is starting to get important to get his neuter done. And uh, now we know it's going to be important to take care of that crypt orchid situation at the same time. So I guess it's a very long-winded way of explaining that I have to call in on Monday and schedule all that for him. Uh, so, um, so yeah. Anyway, April, uh, you also sent a card that says Mr. A. And we can't forget about that. All because you mentioned about a donation for his surgery. And thank you so much for that, by the way. Uh, thank you very much. So here we have what appears to be a pop-up card with a bouquet of flowers. Or maybe it is a little flower pot. Oh, it is a flower pot. And it's got a butterfly on it. And it looks like it's a perfect thing for Maggie to come over here and tear up. Oh, she's sitting right behind the TV, too. I can't... Oh, there we go. All right. I just, wow, that really snaps into place there. That's such a cute little pot of flowers. And uh, Maggie loves to chew up these kind of things, so I'm sure when she sees it, she'll she'll show it what for. Well, thank you so much for the, the snack and for the papers. I'm actually very much looking forward to those, and I really appreciate it. I do feel like um, like I haven't had time to or ability to even think about things in the last two months. You know, it feels like two months. I guess it's closer to a month and a half, something like that. When the, especially when those little kids arrived, though, um, Wellington and crew, and I had to start taking care of him. That's um, <laughs> It's been so fun and rewarding. Um, I, I can't say I would sign up to do it again right away because it takes a lot out of me. Um, but uh, it has it has been wonderful. Um, but the the last couple months are just a blur. And I look at things that I bought even for real simple projects around the house just before that, and they're still just sitting there undone. And but it's not just that; it's that feeling I get when I look at it of like, wow, it seems like a distant memory when I had time to to do things around the house, even you know, uh, just to keep up with anything other than laundry. Uh, it seems so far away, but uh, we're getting back to it now, now that uh, the kids are a little bit older and they're doing fine on their own, and uh, f they run around with me in the morning. They're so cute. Uh, let's see, was this addressed? No, just a Kitten Academy on the outside, but on the inside it says, Thank you, Serenity, for being such a cool cat. You've got a great future ahead of you. Take these wand toys and fur balls with you to enjoy with your new people. Have fun from Laura Kitten Fan. 
Oh, well, thank you so much. This is a great set of wand toys. Uh, this is the, the good set with the fiberglass rods, and it's got the little um, the fishing line style string and the little clip-on at the end, so you can clip on all these different toys that it comes with. Uh, that is a perfect set for Serenity. And I'm going to see if I can easily tuck your note in there, but either way, I'm going to write Serenity on this too before we put it away. Um, and I love that you say, for being such a cool cat, uh, she is the sweetest, coolest. We've got some wonderful cats in right now. All three of our mom cats. I count her as one of the mom cats anyway. Maggie, I know you want to chew on this. You can do that without hitting kittens. Um, anyway, all three of the mom cats that we have in right now are just, they each have just such wonderful, sweet personalities. It's a, it's a shame that we haven't gotten puddles to really get along with the other ones yet, though. Um, because that would make the situation just perfect all around. But she's still awfully hissy, and uh, even though she hasn't started any big fights, I, I can't really trust after um, the one that she did start with Loganberry. Again, there might have been some, you know, ex extenuating circumstances there, but uh, uh, it still means that I can't just, you know, leave her with the other cats and say, well, it's not get, you know, going to get any worse than a simple hiss knowing that, well, it, it might, um, and I need to be, so I just need to keep an eye on her all the time until we can rebuild that trust, and that just takes some time, but uh, I have been letting her out with the other kittens, and she does great for, uh, it seems like usually she does great for an hour or two, and then it seems like she gets tired of having everybody else around and gets kind of hissy at them, so it may just be a question of, you know, keeping her contact a little limited. Um, but we'll, we'll, sort, we'll figure it out. I know we will. Um, so, okay. Uh, let's see. I covered up the address on this one, but uh, for some reason I want to say, I think it was from Mishi. I feel like I already got out the green knife and I'm probably sitting on it. <sighs> well, all right. Wherever it is, I guess we'll just get out another knife. This one's still got the finder on it, so we can't lose it. This one also limits the depth, so we don't even need a knife guard. Wow, fancy. It's also big and awkward. Hmm. It's cool, though. All right, so let's see. What is this about? Ooh, wow. It is a beautiful, beautiful cat bed. Um, and it's very... It's The packaging here is nice, too. It's got a... It's wrapped in tissue paper, and it's got a little sticker that says, thank you. But I'm going to have to tear through that to get it open, I think. Yes, I am. All right, well, that's that. Oh, wow. And it just says, okay, there's a note, and the note says, for any students or faculty that if it fits, they sits. So basically for whoever wants it. Um, and this, that's so generous and wonderful. of You sent two beds uh, from Mishi, and they're so pretty. They are, um, I guess it's kind of felted. Uh, I don't know what you call this. It's like really thick yarn. Um, but you can see that even the, the individual threads in the yarn are rainbowed patterned. Um, and the whole thing is, it's just, that's so fantastic. And I love the fact that it's not uh, like the vivid colors. It's sort of muted, um, not quite pastel, but a little bit uh, of a muted color palette, which is also really nice for it and means it'll fit in, it looks uh, classy in a room. It doesn't look like, you know, you filled the room with cotton candy necessarily, um, but uh, it, it seems like it fits in a little bit better because of that. These are so pretty. I bet the kittens are going to love seeing them. They're so soft. I'll have to figure out how I can wash them because inevitably uh, they're going to need a washing, and I, I hope I can maintain the feeling that they have this wonderful softness to them. My goodness. Uh, they, they do seem like they might be somewhat delicate. Let's see if there was any care and handling instructions in the box. Wow, this is so nice. Mishi, thank you so much for these. I can't wait to see who wants to sit in them. Uh, that is all it says here, though. It says it's from the Grouchy Cat. Uh, and the Grouchy Cat says that the profits go to Animal Rescue. That's so cool, the Grouchy Cat. Um, but that's the only note I see in here. Also a uh, spatula in there now. So, um, 
Well, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll figure it out. And I'm sure somebody on the chat already knows how to deal with it, uh, whatever this material is exactly. Maggie, be nice. Be nice or go away. Those are your choices. Anyway, they're so pretty. And the kittens obviously already like to sit in them. They're so soft. Uh, they're going to have a good time with that. All right. Thank you so much. Um, let me have a little coffee here. Okay. Well, let's see. This says cut very carefully. So that sounds interesting. Well, let's find out. Besides that, custard's sitting on the other thing there, so I can't exactly choose it. Okay, cut very carefully. Well, it's convenient that I have the knife that automatically is careful. Maggie, stop being that way. Go on. You don't have to be part of this. Ooh, lots of tissue paper for the kittens right on top. I see there's like a big floofy bed or something here that you didn't want me to cut through. There's a really cute uh, unicorn toy here. He's sparkly. He's adorable. Wow. It says Sapphire Instinct toy. I don't know what that means. Uh, he does have like some sapphire colored fur. Um, but anyway, let's keep going. There's got to be a note in here somewhere, but I think I'm going to have to pull out the big part to get to it. Wow. I don't know what this is. Oh, is it a, is it a bunny rabbit? It looks like it's got some animal legs on it. Or, a, oh my gosh, it's a unicorn. <gasps> this is so cool. All right, hang on. There's got to be a note in here. Please deploy for squellies and use for future classes in the nursery. All kittens should get hugs from a unicorn. April in Asheville. All right, okay, aka Ginger Tuffy Cat. So thank you. I've got another paper here from you too, the Mountain Express. Uh, that's so sweet of you, and this is beautiful. Um, this is really cool. Hang on, let me see if I can show it to you guys, and then I think we can put it, I think DJ will let me put it um, right on the bed, and this might go on the foot of the bed, actually. We've usually got a bed there they like to sleep in. So, um, all right, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the, where this goes, over here. Okay, and then let's open this guy up. It's so cute. This is like the hugging bear, I think, that we just had that we sent home with somebody who liked it, didn't we? Uh, I can't remember who. But this is the same idea, except instead of being a bear, it's a unicorn. Oh, and instead of having the arms loose, they're attached, which is that, that way it sits up. The bear always did have the problem of getting floppy. Uh, but the, with the arms attached, it, this seems like it's just a little more rigid, which is nice. Um, but it's a big, soft unicorn with a golden horn and a pink mane. And uh, the kittens sleep right on it, and it gives them hugs. And I can't wait to take pictures of uh, Squall and Wellington on it upstairs in the bed. And we can put these on the end of the bed, and I'll just cover our entire bedroom in, like, rainbows and unicorns. And there's nothing DJ can do about it now, because they're gifts. And you have to appreciate those, right? Yes, I agree. All right, look, we can even take the tiny unicorn and put it right there. That's so cool. Thank you so much, April and Asheville, uh, a.k.a. Ginger Tuffy Cat. Okay, uh, that's very generous of you. So, um, and uh, Mishi for the, uh, those beds. Those are, that's all going to be a lot of fun together. Okay, let's just see what's next here. There we go. Spatula's in another box. She's got to get into every... Spatula has no fear, in, like not even the sort of requisite basic amount that we probably ought to have. She jumps into everything. She, she has to explore everything, and she has no hesitation, uh, which is sweet. You know, it means that she's just... She's never had any reason, I guess, uh, which is good. Um, but it does mean things like the other day, DJ had the fridge open, and when she turned her back... Uh, spatula jumped in and didn't just jump into the fridge, which lots of cats do, but then squirmed her way directly like into the back of the cheese drawer where she was completely hidden. And if DJ hadn't caught her doing it at the last minute, she, she could have just like had herself in the fridge. So we're, we keep an extra eye out for that kind of stuff. Um, but uh, it's ridiculous. So, okay, uh, this is as Dear Serenity, you're still a kitten, and we know you will enjoy our favorite toy, Love Tahini and Flair. Maggie, don't hit the kittens. 
Uh, Tahini and Flair, thank you so much. This is, uh, of course, their favorite toy, and she's got one in her room that I, I think she does like quite a bit. Not that she's been in her room for a while now, since she's got basically free run of the house. You can see she gets along well with everybody. Even when somebody like Maggie decides to swipe at her, she's always deferential, um, so she's never going to like escalate a fight, and uh, that, that means I can trust her pretty well. Um, so uh, she, she's really good with everybody. She loves to play, though. Lately, she's gotten into play with all the kittens, and especially with her best friend, Raindrop. They will wrestle and play and have a good time, but Raindrop, as soon as the, the wrestling starts, Raindrop starts just yelling bloody murder, like she's gonna, she's hissing and, and growling and making like the worst fighting noises. And it, it's bothered both me and DJ, and we'll break them up. We'll be like, no, no, it's, you know, go easy on her, Serenity. Take it easy on Raindrop. And the minute we break them up, Raindrop right back in there again. Like, this is what she wants to do. She could just walk away from it, but she wants to get in there and wrestle with her buddy. She just makes so much noise about it when they're doing it. It's crazy. So, um, yeah, I kind of hope that they end up getting, like, adopted together, at least that somebody considers that as a pairing, because they are good friends. And Serenity has a lot of energy now that she's starting to come out of her shell. She's got a lot of energy she needs to work off. She zooms back and forth in the hallway upstairs, and it just, like, gallops around the house. And uh, you wouldn't believe how wild she is for a serene cat like that. Anyway, uh, Teeny and Flair, thank you for sending this for Serenity. And since it's got your note in there, I can just add this to it. And we've got a little Serenity endowment box right there. Perfect. Okay. Let's keep rolling. Um, actually, let's take this box right here. It says heavy. And I thought that was just because Custard was sitting on it, but he's moved and it still says heavy. So I guess that had nothing to do with it. Uh, aw. Look at you two wrestling. I just want to get you where the camera can hopefully see you a little better. Okay. Uh, we're going to open this off to the side here because it is heavy, and I just I don't have to pick it up and move it to that side just to open it. So let me open it here, and then I'll show you whatever we've got in here. Oh. All right. There's a note, and it says note. That's a good place to start. So cute. The note has little tiny kittens in a basket. Oh, it's like a, one of those hanging round baskets, too. How cool. What a beautiful photo of some orange kitties and their one sort of tabby uh, brother. Cute. Uh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and kitties. This box holds a few human goodies, one for Dr. DJ and one for Mr. A that arrived too late to make the Father's Day weekend box. Hope you enjoy. The rest of this box has items that are unmarked so you can use as needed and distribute wherever it seems best. See you soon for KACon. I love hearing that from Ruth and Bob. All right. I don't know why I didn't pick up on the fact this was Ruth and Bob when I opened it. I usually I know. Um, so thank you very much, uh, Ruth and Bob, and it'll be great to see you at KACon. And I see the first thing we have here is a Disney uh, Disney's Bambi uh, uh, plush... Um, Blanket, I guess it's a blanket. That's what the word that I'm looking for. Um, it's like this sort of minty green color, and it's got all these different uh, drawings of Bambi in various poses on it. Really, really adorable and soft. Oh, and I see it's two-sided. The inside has a, like a basic white floral print on it. Oh, but the basic white floral print has uh, Bambi and Thumper in it and um, Flower. This the skunk was named was named Flower, right? Like, I know, I remember the line, that wasn't the skunk's name, but did it have a name? Or was it just Flower after that? I only remember it as Flower, right? Oh boy, that's going to bother me now. <clears throat> did we ever learn the skunk's name, or have we gone all this time and it just, we don't even know? It could be anything. Uh, wow. Um, okay, so you sent this really pretty rainbow-colored tunnel, uh, and it looks like it's sort of semi-translucent, and the colors on it, look at these. Well, I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice, but they're uh, beautiful, uh, sort of rainbow-colored, but they're also sort of the pastel, again, a little more muted, um, and that's going to be gorgeous in one of the rooms. You sent some Yao catnip bananas, wonderful as always. These are cute little blankets with fringe. Kittens love fringe. Uh, oh, it says festival blanket, and it's got a yin-yang pattern on it. One side is green, and the other side is pink. 
how come we can't see any of that pink? Oh, we can see a little bit on the end here. So that's interesting. It's round. Um, I wonder if it's big enough to fit over the table where they eat. I was just talking. To, it looks like it would be. I was just talking to DJ about how <clears throat> how quickly that table gets dirty. They eat on the table. And it's just covered in crumbs every morning, even though I clean it all the time. Um, oh, wow. A spicy chakri mix uh, from Trader Joe's. This is great. I don't even know if DJ's finished the stuff you sent last time, but like I said, she was really excited about it. It's cool that she's got something like this uh, that you were able to find that she actually enjoys. So thank you for sending more. I'm sure she will get to it in due time. We have this beautiful basket, a fold-out basket that's got a, a, this uh, cat pattern on it. They're sort of like, um, I wouldn't say block prints because they're not. I don't know what you call it, but little silhouettes of cats jumping around. Very cute. Okay. Oh, and we've got another one of the round blankets. We have um, this feels like... Um, uh, like a like like a like a lily cat blanket, except um, you know from a store. Hmm, it's nice. Uh, it's got that same sort of texture to it, although I can see it's not uh, woven quite the same way, crocheted quite the same way, knit. What word am I looking for? It doesn't matter. Moving right along. Uh, ooh, we've got baby food and purely fancy feast uh, chicken in a delicate broth. Well, those will be great, and I recognize the churu container there. Are you okay, buddy? That spatula on Wellington, and Wellington's making little complainy noises, but he's also not getting up and running away. He's uh, he's sort of letting her be the dominant one. He's sort of just, you know, relaxing and being like, okay, normally... And just like like you would expect, she then she stops and she licks him to say, all right, I just wanted you to know I'm in charge. Which is, uh, it seems like what she's doing. More of... He clearly wants to play with her, though, and it's not, uh, they're not in any trouble, even though he's being a little squeaky. Okay, let's see. Uh, this says, Mr. A, happy Cat Dad's Day. This came a little late to make the box for mailbag. Hope you enjoy this gift. Love, Bob and Ruth. Well, you guys really don't have to get me anything, um, but I appreciate, you know, that you have. Thank you very much for that. Let's see here. Ooh, a mug. I like that. And it says, aw, this is so cute. It says, best cat dad ever. And it has Maggie and Eddie and Custard on it. Oh, and on the back, it's got Logan, Mary, and Ari. Wow, that's so cool that it, uh, the two sides aren't the same, too. That's pretty cool. So they're sitting in front of the American flag. It says, best cat dad ever. Here we have Logan, Mary, and Ari. And uh, they're good little comic representations of them. And the same for Maggie and Eddie and Custard. Also good comic versions of each of them. That's super cute. Uh, I really like it. Thank you very much for that. And uh, we've got, uh, I've got a number of these sort of, um, uh, you know, like st stainless steel flask mugs. I love them. And this is the good kind. Uh, I love the lid on this. This is going to be great. Uh, I dropped one of them just the other day and sort of dented the mug part a little bit and shattered the lid. Uh, but that one hasn't gone out of rotation yet. <laughs> but I do use these very often, so this is, uh, it's wonderful. And I just love the fact it's got the faculty on it. They're so cool. Huh, that's, that's really pretty. Thank you so much. Wow. Okay, uh, and then at the bottom of this, we have a sheet a case of the Nulo uh, turkey and chicken recipe, which is what we have, in fact, been feeding everybody. And these kittens are ravenous. I cannot believe how much they go through. So thank you so much. This will get put into use right away. In fact, I'm going to slide it over to this side of the room so I can just bring it straight to the kitchen afterwards. Uh, and I guess some of this other stuff will end up going to the kitchen as well. But we'll sort all that out in due time. Uh, let's see. We'll put this in here for generic use. I really do want to see if one of those is going to fit on the kitchen table or not. DJ, I don't know. It, it's a toss-up. I don't, can never tell whether she's going to like something like that, um, you know, as far as the color and pattern go, or whether she's not. I don't know. So it'll be interesting. I think it's kind of cute. And the fringe, of course, is going to drive the kittens wild, and that's fun by itself. Let's see. This can also go to the kitchen. Good. And then these will sort out after uh, this and this. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so this is sort of generic use stuff then. This is going over here for now. 
And how are we doing for time? Oh, oh plenty of time. We're doing making much better time than I thought. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. There's a huge box here, and it's also very heavy for its size. Um, so let's see. This says, oh, Steph, care of Kitten Academy. Now, I know I've gotten uh, a few messages uh, that I haven't had a chance to look at here. Let's just see. I want to make sure that I'm not going to miss something that is important uh, for me to know right now. Well, okay, I don't immediately see anything with that name on it, so I'm just going to keep going. But for some reason, I thought that... All right, well, hey, we'll figure it out. Let's just, uh, let's keep rolling. This is a very large box. I don't know how well you can see it from the cameras that are on, but it is enormous. And, oh, oh, wow. It has an entire cat tree in it, that's why. The King Cloud Cat Tree, what a cool name. And uh, it looks like a cat tree that has like stars and clouds and things on it. How cool is that? King Cloud Cat Tree. Uh, I'm trying to lift it out of here. This is tricky to do. It's a big box in a big box. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to stand up to get that thing out, but let's see if there's a note first. There is a note. I believe this is more aimed towards little kittens, so this might be suitable for use in the annex as their first cat tower, but you can decide on the deployment once you have built it. Love and Spoogles from Staff and Sonia. I think that's Sa Sonia. Is that how you say that? I don't know. Um, probably not. But uh, thank you so much. Uh, we'll say S and S. That's the easy way, isn't it? Um, uh, Sanjana, maybe? Let's, we could go for that. Okay. Uh, either way, the King Cloud Cat Tree it looks really cute. I hope it is good for kittens because it looks like a lot of fun. I can see there's a ramp and a little box that's got stars and a basket that hangs like the one on the climbing wall. And at the top, it's got sort of like a mobile, uh, you know, like a little hanging little clouds for the kittens to bat at. Um, it looks like it's going to be so much fun. Custard's already gotten himself into this box. Um, I do want to take it out just so that we can get this stuff organized correctly and maybe I can show you what it shows on the box that I'm looking at. Custard, I don't want you to get crushed under here though. Come on, buddy. Okay, I got it. There we go. King Cloud Cat Tree. That's so cute. I definitely would like to, to deploy this for them and uh, see what they think of it. We'll find, find out exactly when we get a chance to do that. I did recently give them a cat condo for their room that I thought would sort of fill that same purpose of being Kitty's first cat tree, but I think they're, they're already just, they're past that. They're way past that. They've run up and down these three trees all day long. Uh, I have to figure out how to sort of repair these three trees too that... Uh, the oldest one, the one in the middle there, I, I put those new branches on it, and they're great, that, but the material I used is really bad, and it looks awful. That green colored bit on the middle tree it looks really bad. Um, be worse in person, so I gotta find a place where I can get like carpet remnants to make the other ones the same, a little some, more similar to what they were originally. Uh, staff, uh, S and S, <laughs> thank you for that. Uh, before I get too carried away talking about other stuff, I really appreciate it. Custard loves the giant box. He is rolling around and being a big kitten in here. Now he's tearing up your note. Okay, good job, buddy. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I've got to I've got to get back around to working on the project of fixing up that middle cat tree, especially. Uh, and the gray one's looking pretty banged up too. But I don't know if it's going to be as repairable in the long run. Uh, it might just end up being one of those things that uh, once it gets worn out a certain amount. Um, maybe there'll be a cat or kitten that especially loves it and we can just send it home uh, with them for their owners to dispose of properly when they're done with it. Um, we'll find out. It's, it's been a big hit, of course, for everybody that's had it. It's just, uh, like I said, I don't know how repairable it's going to be once it gets a little more. Uh, it's real pretty, though. They, they all love it, of course. Okay, let's see here. Uh, this is addressed to Kitten Academy, and there's nothing else on the outside that is any sort of a clue. So, uh, let's find out what we got here. Ooh, okay, there's a note and two boxes. 
Aw, oh, there's a box here for Teaspoon with little hearts on it. And then another box says DJ and Mr. A, also with little hearts on it. Okay. So let's take a look at the note. Okay to read on screen. Oh, perfect. I like that. It's good to know. I'm not breaking any rules. It says thank you with a, a bunch of flowers on the front. Oh, wow. There's a donation there. I'm going to put that right in the box. There we go. Thank you so much. Hello, Kitten Academy. We appreciate your years of devotion to the love and care you and DJ bring to each mom, cat, and kitten. We thank you. We became regular viewers from Indiana just before you got a cute yellow boy named Charlie. Oh my, that was some time ago. We're sending a small donation to use as you see fit, but if we can bribe you with it, could you start the next close-up with showing us another cute yellow boy named Logan? We thank you. Uh, we are sending an endowment to the adopters who will love a special cute yellow boy named Teaspoon. We're also sending DJ the same to remind her of Teaspoon and to show how much we appreciate and thank her. We're sending you a cute little yellow boy that we guess you could name John. Hope you enjoy. Again, thank you for all you both do. From Ronnie and Pam. Aww. And in memory of our 10th Street cats, Wildy Cat, Scaredy Cat, Pretty Cat, Cali Cat, Yeller Cat, Copy Cat, and Al E. Cat. That's super cute. Ronnie and Pam, uh, thank you so much. <laughs> That's a very sweet card. Uh, let's see what you're talking about here. What have we got for Teaspoon? All right. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little golden teaspoon. That's super adorable. Um, it's got it's a little cat on the top, and the cat's got little arms that stick out so you can hang him on the side of your mug. Um, that's, that's super adorable. I would demonstrate, but my mug has coffee in it, and uh, this is going to adopters, presumably. Uh, it could be a while before Teaspoon gets to leave, um, but I do hope... Oh, this is so cute. From Ronnie and Pam in the 10th Street Cats, Columbus. Uh, how cute. So this is, yes, okay. Ah! <laughs> this is, uh, like you said, a duplicate of the little spoon for us to remember teaspoon by. So sweet. And the thing that made me chuckle is there's also a pin, uh, like a pin that you wear on your lapel. Um, and the pin is the lid of a toilet with the cat looking into it. And it's reflective on the inside. So it's really like he's looking at uh, into a toilet like it's it gives a, a great little effect there uh, the outside is sort of like a polished uh, brass or something and the inside is a little piece of actual mirror um, it's just it's an adorable little pin I hope you can see that it is a toilet lid with a cat sort of peering into it um, which makes me think of our little spatula who recently has jumped into that speaking of the fact like uh, like I was that she has no fear uh, even of the things that she should slow down and think about. She jumped into the toilet. Uh, she jumped into the trash can the same way. The lid was up and she just jumped for it. Uh, no idea where she would end up, but she ended up exactly where you would think. Wow, a bird just flew into that window. Hmm. Okay, so this is going to Teaspoon's endowment, though, so um, we don't have a place for just regular endowments yet. We'll make sure that gets to the right spot. Okay. Uh, thank you very much. Those are super cute. And that, that little, the toilet, uh, pin is uh, hilarious. It's so cute. Uh, I hope DJ likes the pin. I, I usually end up, uh, taking and, and eventually wearing the pins, but, um, I hope DJ gets a kick out of it because that is hilarious. Okay. Uh, let's see. To Puddles, Bud, Sprout, Raindrop, Drizzle, and Brawly, I hope these Springs Mice and Cat Dancers bring you and your new people hours of entertainment. Have fun for the Meowers Endowments from Laura Kitten Fan. Well, thank you so much. And as you, you said, the usual, Springs are one of their favorite toys right now. All of them love playing with the Springs. They're one of the toys that they can be carrying around, especially Drizzle will carry around a spring and hiss and growl at everybody to stay away from her precious spring. Um, so uh, those are great toys for them. And then the cat dancers, that's interesting. I, these are, I guess, some like Amazon no frustration packaging. Um, so you can't see what they are at all. But these are the ones that are just a wire with little bits of cardboard on either end of the wire. It sounds so simple, but it is one of the best cat toys in the entire galaxy. Um, so that is also something that they are going to love. I'm going to put excuse me, put this right here and put your note on top. And that can be our thing for endowments for now. 
We have a box here from, I think uh, by now a lot of you recognize this motif, the uh, B and B sisters sending us the plain white box with the stickers all over. Okie dokie, and I see inside we already, we've got another paper for me. Uh, Children's and teens should wear helmets and protective gear while on ATVs, dirt bikes, and other powered vehicles. That is a good tip from a pediatrician. I'm not sure you need a pediatrician to tell you that, um, but that's cool. Okay, uh, the health and fitness classified too. That's going to be so fun. Thank you. Uh, wow, this card is wild. It has uh, like this surreal art of uh, what appears to be some sort of a, um, uh, like an atrium. And it's all glass. Maybe it's more of a greenhouse, really. It's all glass greenhouse. And there's cats just going wild in it. They're like hanging from the rafters and knocking over the plants. And uh, they're in all the pots and things. And it's, uh, there's a lot going on here. It's a very busy little drawing. That's, uh, that's adorable. And one very concerned looking dog in the middle of it, uh, probably supposed to be keeping control. And it says, hello to all at Kitten Academy. Happy summer. We hope your summer is going a bit more smoothly than your spring did. Enclosed are the usual food, blankets, and toys to be used as you see fit. Also included a local paper for you, Mr. A. Thank you and Dr. DJ for all you do. The B&B sisters, Beatrice and Bernadette. Uh, thank you in advance, B&B sisters. I see Wellington wants to get right into whatever you sent. I don't know if the camera can see him up here. I guess the ceiling camera can probably see him. He just jumped right on here and is digging around in the uh, packing material. Here, is this what you want to play with? It's not a toy, buddy. That's fine, though. I'll supervise you carefully. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. You, as usual, have sent some blankets. This is very cute. Uh, this seems to be the style that, well, eh, almost the style I think that DJ is really going to like. Uh, she likes the sort of cartoony cats, and this has a lot of those on it, and they look very happy about it. And I thought it said something. It does. It says cat. Uh, it says, hey, hello. I see. Okay. Like trying to get a cat's attention. That is, uh, that's very cute. I love it. It's got little cat bones and, uh, I mean, fish bones and mice and uh, paw prints and yarn and some cartoony kittens on it. That will be, uh, that'll, that's a nice, uh, like a blue color too, a real, uh, like a pale blue. That's nice. Uh, I've said the word pastel too many times, so I'm gonna, not going to describe it that way. Uh, here we have silhouette cats, but the silhouettes are all done in like a, like a not tie-dyed, but like a splash-dyed rainbow colors. It's really cool with butterflies and balls and cat silhouettes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, inside we have so many toys. Oh, my goodness. This box can fit so many toys. Uh, so let's see. We'll go through them rapid fire. We've got a felted koala bear. We have the original cat treat, cat nip, I see, but it is uh, ice cream, two fur cookies dipped in chocolate coating. It is an ice cream sandwich um, uh, parody, uh, cat nip. That's cute. We have this uh, killer whale. Is that what we call these? I think it is, something like that. We have uh, soda, Pringles, and uh, oh, two different kinds of soda, actually. One with a straw and one in the can. And then a can of, uh, is it Pringles? Is it going to say Pringles? It does say just straight up Pringles. Okay. Very snacky. I like it. It's got the Pringles man on it and everything. There we go. Okay. We have a Yao catnip heart. Very fuzzy on one side. The Per Eatos in the Cool Ranch fifth flavor. Perfect. Cuddle School Graduate. Oh, that's so cute. It is a, a catnip uh, ribbon. Here we have what appears to be a burrito and a taco plush cat toy. Very well. Uh, we have these fuzzy fur mice. Oh, they're like real fur mice. Those are nice. Those were well sought after. Here we have the regular rattle mice in three different colors. We have uh, a couple of clownfish. We have a corn and a chicken. It says perfect picnic. I see. So we have corn and chicken, and then we have the, the uh, Tutti Frutti, I see, uh, with, has a catnip, banana, and watermelon also. Uh, I guess all those things can go together to the party. Okay, we have some uh, betta fish with, um, they're like sparkly bodies and they've got feather tails on. We have, oh, a compressed catnip pineapple. 
with lots of ribbons. We have another one with a farm to tabby. <laughs> I see, farm to tabby. It has an eggplant, an apple, and a carrot. All right, these collections go together somehow. Here we have a soda and a, I mean, a, uh, yeah, a cola and a piece of pizza. Here we have a cute little squirrel in a leaf. Uh, the leaf is like a pocket, and you can pull the squirrel in and out uh, for the kitten to play with. There we go. The leaf's like a little pouch for him. Uh, we've got this weird, uh, oh, I see. They're like fuzzy mice with these long tails. These will be a lot of fun. Catch a meows. Wow, there's so much more still in here. This is uh, incredible. Uh, we've got these fuzzy long-tailed mice, the classics that uh, Logan likes to play fetch with. We've got these little rope-wrapped mice. We have this jumping, leaping unicorn with a rainbow mane and a feather tail. How cool is that? Oh, here we go, in motion. Uh, we have, wow, a set, a pack of birds, of very colorful birds. Uh, I don't even know what, I don't think any of these, oh, that's a woodpecker. I got the, I got one. Oh, and there's a cardinal down here in front. I missed the fact there were two more. Uh, very colorful little birds that presumably will pop up as soon as I open this vacuum packing. Uh, those are super fun. Oh, we have an, uh, another type of unicorn. This one has long legs that wiggle around. We have a 4th of July celebration with the American flag as a beer can, I think, and an all-star podka. All right, that's a bit of a stretch, but that's fine. Uh, there we go. We have, oh, another clownfish. This one's got a uh, tiny fish in a pocket on a string so they can pull out the tiny fish and play with it. You can see the little bit of blue there is another fish. Uh, this has owls, hootie full owls, uh, and they have little golden and silver feet. They're beautiful. Super cute. Somebody wants to get into the soda. You want a soda? You want some Pringles and a soda? Is that what you're after? Here. Here. Do you want some Pringles nibbles? I know you're a snacker. Okay. You take you take that. Does the guy, the Pringles guy, have a name? Is he Mr. Pringles? Is he Mr. Pringle? Is he Pringle? What is he? Oh, man. So many questions today. All right, uh, we have some Nulo turkey and chicken recipe. That's exactly the thing. And there's some more cans of that in here as well. Uh, I guess I'll pull them all out and stack them up so they can go to the kitchen. Okay, there might be another one. I'm not sure, but let's, uh, let's not have these where they're going to fall over. Okay, we have another blanket. This one looks uh, also very colorful. The bold colors. Let's see, what is it, a blanket that is a, oh, wow, it's a, it's like a beautiful, um, I'd say like acrylic uh, painted cat or something. It's hard to tell at this resolution. I'm right up next to it. I bet you can tell a lot better from the ceiling camera. Uh, beautiful eyes, though, and sort of an abstract um, uh, cat. Yeah, lots of uh, brush strokes, very visible in the blanket there. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put that back in here. We're going to end up using this box in just a second to put almost all this stuff back into. Uh, okay, we're at the end. There is a blue Puff the Magic Dragon here. He's got uh, little tiny wings, and then he's like sneezing out this, this fire that is a uh, little um, yarn fire. That's so cute. <laughs> Uh, here we have a manta ray. This is, wow, we've got a theme of little cats with, uh, or to cat toys with a pocket with a smaller toy on a string. We've got a manta ray here that has a little tiny white fish on a string in a, in a pouch on its belly. And then, oh, finally we have a, uh, watermelon. Excellent. Wow, B&B &B sisters, once again, I am overwhelmed. Uh, this is just a great amount of stuff, and I love uh, when we get to sorting out the endowments, and, and this uh, contributes so much to the toys that these kittens get to play with. I bet, for, I bet honestly, for years. I bet there's uh, alumni that are still opening their, uh, some of their endowments to give to the kitten you know, years later, uh, which is amazing. It's, it's amazing. I just I can't even... Okay, uh, let's see. What did you do with Mr. Pringle on the can there? Are we going to get him back? No, is he just out? Which one of these things were you actually sniffing around for? You want this back? Here, you want a soda? <laughs> Go for it, Wellington. That's fine. Here, uh, maybe you need to have it on the other side so it looks more like a soda. You go try that. Is that good? 
Mm, yummy. Well, I guess we're going to leave this set out then since they're already playing with it. Uh, very cute. Thank you so much once again. Uh, that's just that's spectacular. And, uh, you know, a lot of these things are just so unique and silly as cat toys that I want to put them all out around here. And I know I can't take them all, but, uh, but you've sent some really fun ones <laughs> as usual. Uh, how are we doing? 10.55. And how much do we have left to open here? Hang on. Uh, well, we do have a handful of stuff. Um, let's do it. Let's just, let's just go. Let's just, let's just keep on rolling. We've got like five more boxes to open, and there's a couple of them that are sort of hand-addressed things that might be a little more involved, but we'll find out. Um, this is, oh, from Hell's Dells, of course. Uh, so let's take a look. We already, by the way, we already opened a package from Charlie I off camera. Uh, she had sent a package for DJ that included um, uh, her little catnip, um, uh, what do you call it, the ring with the, the kitties' names on it uh, that is so sweet of her to make for all the kitties. She made one for DJ. And then uh, <laughs> it also included... A, uh, a gold chain for Mr. T to wear, uh, Mr. T-style gold chain. And I already took it and took some pictures of Teaspoon wearing it, and it is so silly and adorable. It's perfect. It's like this perfect light plastic, but it looks really convincing on the camera, but it's not, it's not heavy, so the kittens don't mind wearing it. Uh, the chain is ideal. I did have a lot of trouble getting any pictures of him with that and the mohawk and or uh, sunglasses that we have. Uh, getting all those together was a tall order, but uh, but just the chain was super easy and made some nice pictures already. So, uh, Charlie I, thank you for that. Okay, but this isn't Charlie I. This is Hell's Dells. Buddy, you're so cute. Can we just bring this around? Maybe people can see you. Maybe. Maybe they can a little bit. I don't know. Okay. He's not going to stay there now. Uh, okay, uh, so there must have been a note. Yes, there is right here. And the note says, Hi, Mr. A, DJ, cats and kittens, catnip toys for Serenity, Wellies and Squall, all labeled. I've also enclosed some toys for deployment. You may want to remove the eyes. They don't look very secure to me, but they were too cute to not send. Love, Helen. Uh, Hell's Dells. Well, thank you so much. All right, well, let's find out what it is that you are referring to. First off, we have a bag that says Wellies and Squall on it. I'm trying to open it without cutting too deep because there's something right in here. Oh, oh, these are those new kickers that uh, the kittens have liked already. Uh, the ones that are made out of like a marshmallow bed material. It's just a plain kicker. We had one of these in their room that got peed on, and I, I know I brought it to the wash. And I'm pretty sure I returned it after the wash, but I can't remember seeing it since then. Hmm. I'll have to take a look, but it was a big hit uh, immediately when we deployed it. So these are ones for Wellies and Squall. Uh, I had a box that was for, I think, them. No, this is Serenity's. Uh, then we had a box that was for not them, didn't we? Oh, that's this. Yes, this is for, okay. This is, that'll work. Okay. Uh, this one is for Serenity, so I know where to put this one now. Uh, this is cute tissue paper. It's got little icon, uh, I don't know, icon? Uh, little simple line drawings of avocados and cats and mice and a blueberry. Or maybe it's a bell. All kinds of weird little things. Aw, and the cutest little elephant. He's adorable. And then something else here, a big old uh, unhappy strawberry. Wait, is it unhappy? No, it's happy. I was just looking at it upside down. All right, real easy to change your perspective on these things. Uh, all right, it's a happy strawberry and this cute little uh, elephant. And I'm going to put them right back in this piece of paper that is so cute and maybe even close them up a little so it doesn't get lost and put it in with the other stuff right there for Serenity. Perfect. This also says Wellies and Squall. Oh, oh I tore it. I'm sorry. Well, okay, that was bound to happen. Uh, this one has a little tiny, I'm going to say penguin. I think it's a penguin. I don't know. Some kind of a little blue bird, maybe. Uh, a piece of toast, a very...
toast, just like all the toast we have around here. Everything is fuzzy. We have a fuzzy egg as well. That's the sounds like breakfast to me. And oh, another same same little bird, but this one in brown. Uh, whatever kind of little cute birdie that is. That is adorable stuff. Wow, this is so cute. I love the egg and toast. And I love the birdies too. This, they're all adorable. Uh, that egg. <laughs> okay. Let's see. All right, let's put that back in there and put this here for Wellies and Squall. Three toys for Serenity, this says. Okay. Let's find out. Ooh. All right, it's a big kicker. And it looks like some fur mice. Oh, yeah, the good ones. Oh, she's going to love these. But uh, if I give them to her now, they'll just get stolen by Drizzle and Raindrop. So uh, that's perfect for her, though. She's going to love all that. I like the pink kicker for it, too. Okay, put that right back here. It did say Serenity, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Right in there with the Serenity stuff. And then finally, deployment. Please check eyes. <laughs> okay. All right. Let me call my optometrist before we open this one. Let's see here. Let's see these things. These danger eyes. I got to know. I don't know what a danger eye looks like. Oh, well, I don't know if they look dangerous to me, but they do look like they would come off. Uh, oh, and there's a little bead on the end. Yeah, okay. I see what you're saying. So this one's a little frog head with an eye, and it's got a little tiny bead that's uh, on the end that's a little uh, hard, I think. So maybe if I just pull the beads off, it'll still be pretty cute. I don't know. Oh, and it looks like it's a set of uh, similar. We've got two similar frogs. I can't tell what you can see behind her. And then two little tiny, uh, oh, chicks. Oh, they're so cute. They have the tiniest little beak on the end. I don't know if you can see that. And the one eye, it is adorable. Two, we have two little tiny, I think they're chicks. I don't think they're fish. I guess they could be fish, though. They look like little chicks to me, but I guess they're, they're probably fish with that tail. Okay, well, you know, whatever. They're cute. Uh, we got those and the frogs. They're all adorable. Let's see, uh, you say this is for us to deploy... Uh, and I'd like to, but uh, where do I put them for now? I'm not sure. I guess just in this pile. Uh, here, I'll put them in this thing that says DJ and Mr. A. Perfect. Maybe. Now it won't close, but that's all right. We did what we could. The valiant attempt. Okay. All right. Uh, I said we're going to keep going. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ugh. Okay. This is Lily Cat. Aw, oh, okay. Let's take a look here. Knife guard number one. Ooh, that's a two for knife guard number two. Very serious about keeping this stuff intact, and safe. Aw, blanket for nibbles. And it's got this cute little, like, uh, hibiscus pattern. Is that what that is? That's what I'm going to say. A uh, blanket for nibbles from Lily Cat, and inside it is this wonderful orangey, corally color. Um, yeah, I guess that's what I'd call it. It's got kind of this pink and sort of this um, orangey, mustardy color. Um, and then this sort of deeper is more of a sort of almost a lavender. Uh, and the way they blended together, of course, this beautiful, as always, what a wonderful Lily Cat blanket. Oh my goodness. This is the real deal, not the knockoff version. Custard's over there chewing on the Pringles now, chewing on the soda part. I don't know. One of them. Looks like the can of Pringles, maybe. Uh, Lily, Lily Cat, thank you so much for sending this. I know that Little Nibbles adopters are going to appreciate it so much. And it's just, it's always wonderful work, and it's so nice of you to do this for the mom cats. I love everything about it. Thank you very, very much for that. I'm going to write Nibbles on it. I, let me double, triple check, and I want to... Triple check. Blanket for nibbles. Nibbles, nibbles, nibbles. Okay. Let's write nibbles out here. Oh, it says care of nibbles on the uh, address. I should have already known that. Where is the... I still have to write something big on the outside so I don't miss it. That's illegible, I know. As long as I can figure it out. Okay, perfect. Oh, 
Okay, that's not a real coffee, but there is a real coffee here somewhere, isn't there? Yes, there is. Sorry if that was extra audible. Okay, uh, how am I going to get to the stuff here? Hang on. Oh, yep. Hi, hi, raindrop. Okay, let's see. We've got something here. Uh, okay, we got this round thing. Well, that's about all we know. Let's find out what a round thing could potentially be. Okay. Interesting. Some weird texture here. Oh, I see. That's their business card. From Hyrick. Hyrick. H I W R I K on Discord. Hyrick. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is wrapped up in a piece of paper, I hope, because that part's a little torn. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, wow. What is it? Oh, Guide to Cats, the trusted resource for new and used cats. <laughs> Oh no, these names for the kitties are so cute. Um, like instead of a mackerel tabby, it has racing stripes. Uh, and the classic one is hot licks. So you, the three types of tabbies, we have solid color, hot licks, and racing stripes. Uh, standard issue, silver, champagne, red. And the red one is like screaming and jumping at the camera. Uh, mismatched panels, tinted windows, wide body, stripped, dropped, slammed, chopped, no spoiler, good grip. I see. It is all like a racing cars poster. Uh, that's super cute. That is adorable, and I love it. And DJ's going to love it. And I love the terms hot licks and racing stripes for the uh, classic and mackerel tabbies. That's, uh, that's pretty funny. Actually, all of it's pretty good. Hi, Rick. Thank you so much for this. I'm going to have to put it back in the tube until I can find a good frame for it. Uh, this deserves to be put up someplace where it's preserved. Uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, let's see. Did I make that small enough? I didn't. I gotta tighten this up just a little bit. If I can, start over. I don't want to risk uh, doing any damage to it before we've even had a chance with it, though. Hi, are you helping, Raindrop? Okay, you get the end there for me, all right? There we go. Second time's a charm. All right, um, I'm going to put it, I guess it has to go right here for now. Okay, just a couple more. Hi, Rick. Uh, thank you very much. Oh. Okay. We got this little thing here that says Kitten Academy on it, all right. To Puddles, Bud, Sprout, Raindrop, Drizzle, and Brawly, I hope these springs, mice, and cat dancers bring you and your new people hours of entertainment. Have fun for the Meowers Endowments from Laura Kitten Fan. Yes, we knew. Uh, so this is the rest of the story. Um, like Paul Harvey used to say. Wow, there's a dated reference. I shouldn't even know that one. Uh, okay, we have the Flat Mice, a classic. Uh, we got a whole stack of the Flat Mice plus some supplemental springs. These are perfect. These are great toys for these guys. And uh, I guess I do want to put them right here in this box that already contains a raindrop. But that's where the rest of your stuff is. Maybe we can get a bigger box before we leave. Uh, but we've only got two more boxes here to open, and I'm saving the very heavy one for last, which probably has food and or litter in it. Oh, that reminds me, there was a box of litter, a giant box where somebody sent, I don't know, uh, must be uh, the 30, maybe even more than 30 pound bag of uh, boxy cat. Uh, so I did not bring it in, but there also, I checked, there wasn't a note that said who it was from. So 
Whoever sent the boxing cat, thank you very much. I see this looks like it's from Tahini and Flair again, but there's been a slight little problem in shipping. Uh, there was a pack of Fun Springs here, which has exploded uh, all over in the box. It's full of loose uh, fun tubes. That's what I'm all right, so it says, Dear Wellingtons and Squall, we're so glad you're thriving at the Academy and learning to cat love Tahini and Flair. Perfect. Well, it is from Tahini and Flair. Now, there's also a marshmallow bed in here. And, of course, there's two ball towers. Um, but the marshmallow bed... Um, Probably for one of the mom cats. Let me see if there's a different note. Dear Serenity, we hope you enjoy snoozing in one of our favorite beds. So, uh, interestingly enough, I wouldn't have, have put Serenity as a, uh, a marshmallow bed lover, but this morning we've got the smaller, the exact same purple color, the small version of this uh, on our bed, and she was curled up in this tiny little um, ball on the marshmallow bed. Uh, which is, it's too small for her. I was surprised to find her there. It's about the right size for one of the medium kitties. Um, oh, hi, Serenity. We were just talking about you. Anyway, she loves the marshmallow bed, and uh, she will love this one. And I need to write her name on it so it doesn't get confused with the stuff for the rest of these kids, uh, which, by the way, I can consolidate. So hang on a second here. One more moment of organization before we get to the final box. This is going to be great for her. Uh, like I said, she, she was really getting into the uh, marshmallow bed um, this morning. Okay. Uh, okay, so this I'm going to dump in here, and then we're going to get the heavy box. Okay. I know, a little unceremoniously, but that's okay. Perfect. Okay, now... What are you doing back there? Oh, you're playing with this piece of cardboard that's hanging off, huh? All right, good times. Ooh, very heavy, chewy box. Ah, very heavy. My good. Oh, good job, Custard. Uh, and it is addressed to Kitten Academy, is all it says. It just says it's a Kitten Academy, so there's no clue. And I don't think Chewy lets you leave a note on the inside, but let's find out whether it has, in fact... Got a note on the inside. Ooh, well, okay, I guess we could have predicted what's in here. It is an entire stack of new low, uh, which will come in especially handy right now because I still haven't figured out how much to order. And so I'm constantly running out before our next shipment arrives um, from Amazon. But uh, this is perfect. So you've got like four uh, cases, uh, five, four, four, one, two, three, four cases of this. This is great. Um, and it probably saves me from having to order more this week. And I can just wait until our next shipment from Amazon. Of course, I am going to have to up the amount on that at some point. Because um, like I said, we keep falling behind. But uh, this is perfect. Thank you to whomever sent it. I, I don't know who it was, but you can hit me up on Discord or you can email headmaster at kitten.academy and Lisa will let me know. Uh, I really appreciate it. This is, this is exactly the right stuff and will go a long way towards feeding these kittens. They probably won't even be able to eat it all in one day. Probably, maybe. They, they have been going through an, an amazing amount of food. It's really astounding. I almost feel like I need to limit them, but uh, especially for Wellington and Squall, like they still need some, some meat on their ribs. Uh, um, so I, I don't like to limit food when we've got little kittens that are still growing, you know. So it is what it is. For now, they get to just eat as much as they want. Of course, their mom is uh, Puddles is part of the problem there where she's still in that mode of uh, she'll eat way too much just because it's there. And so she eats a ton and then has bad poops. That's why we keep her separate from them so often at feeding times. All right, well, these kids are all starting to fall asleep, and i got to get this stuff cleaned up. So I'm going to turn off the good microphone and leave you guys on the regular mic, and uh, then I will start getting this stuff all put away. Thank you so much to everybody for everything. Uh, it's been super cute. I can't wait to put this unicorn uh, and beds up there in the bedroom, I think. We'll see. How much DJ puts up with that? <laughs> uh, I think they're great. Uh, okay, yeah, that's it. Um, how do I turn this thing off? Um,
this stuff away. This is great. Like I said, arrived just in time. Let's get this over there. It'll take a couple of time. These things are very heavy. Those cute little toys with the eyes. Go for the eyes, boo!
that beats me. It's a lot of attention. <clears throat> I guess, I guess that's it. I'm going to carry this stuff upstairs and I might not come right back down. So uh, thanks again, everybody. That's just um, it's, it's amazing. You guys are always fantastic. You take such good care of the kittens and really too good care of me and DJ, um, which I appreciate. I do. Um, but I, I especially appreciate the care uh, for the kittens. It's, it's wonderful. So. All right. Uh, let's wrap up this recording.